Hey guys, I'm Clint Flair Wheel. Welcome back to another Division 2 build video. And I've been asked many times to do a burn build, and here it is. Now we all know that the, the incinerator turret has taken a little bit of a nerf in title update 6. But I'm going to showcase it to you now, guys, and as you can see in the gameplay, it is actually still kick-ass. Now, there are a few talents that you do need to get this as optimal as possible, and to do so. You just have to change a little bit of things on your build and think a little bit outside the box to get the right attributes or talents to make sure this turret is still kick-ass. Now, it isn't as great as it used to be. It has taken a slight nerf, but still, it is super cool for PvE content. Challenging heroics in a group. The synergy is perfect, and you can deal some awesome, amazing burn damage on this build. Let's take a look at the build, guys. Let's do this. Hey guys, yes, I'm Clint Flair. We're welcome back once again, like the Renegade Master, to another Division 2 build video. And again, it is the Burn Progedy Firestarter build. And this is something that I do enjoy rolling with in PvE because I do genuinely love Firecrest Tactician from Division 1. And I just wish they bring back the Burn uh, in a big, big way. I mean, Top Day 5, they made it. Quite strong in all honesty, due to the BTSU gloves, and now it's taking a knock or a kick in the balls because it's not as great as it used to be, but it's still super efficient. Let's take a look at the build. Okay guys, first and foremost, I'm rolling with the Nerf Gun Specialization, and that's because of the skill power that will bump me up to 50%, uh, and again above and beyond 3k, and also the 10% skill damage. Now with this, I'm rolling with 4 offensive stats, 4 defensive stats and 10 utility. My primary damage on my ACR is 18.5k, my RPM is 715, my armor is 246.k and my health is 27.1k and my skill power is 3315. So every mod possible in the game is unlocked and can be used on this build. Now, this build is centered around 2 explosive flame damage skills being the incinerator turret and the fire starter chem launcher this yes guys seeker mines are strong they really are salt turret is also really really strong but i do keep seeing incinerator builds in pve content where we challenge and heroic missions i'm seeing many people rolling with these skills now it's something that i do wanted to touch on because when i see these skills go they don't kick for long they don't have a lot of duration. So hopefully, guys, if you watch this this build video, it gives you a few indicators and what you need to do to improve the duration of the burn while also stacking as much damage as possible. Let's do this. Okay, guys, we'll start with the mask. The mask is China Light Industries Corporation. I'm rolling two piece of the free piece, uh, the 10% explosive damage and 10% shotgun damage. My attributes on the... Mask is skill haste and damage to elites, and damage to elites is integral to stack it everywhere you can to ensure you are dealing some great damage on DTE. So definitely, definitely, damage to elites will stack with your skills. So guys, get it on your mask. Um, the talent is creeping death. Status effect spread to the nearest enemy within 25 meters can occur once every five seconds. So this will happen all the time. It generally does. You'll see this happen 8, 9, 10 times a minute quite easily because you are spamming your burn all of the time. In incinerator turret, I can get it up to about 52 seconds duration, which is, yeah, it's not fantastic, but it's a good, good base, and you're also doing some kick-ass damage while doing so. But Creeping Death, again, will add the burn to your nearest enemy within that 25 meter radius um so yes guys you are dealing a lot of damage on this build and creeping death is a sleeper talent to use if you're not using it then make sure you test it out on a status effect build the mask the mask is alp summer armament that's 20 percent skill haste 10 percent skill power the attributes are a healthy 945 skill power and armor, which is 18.5% and capacitive. It's integral. It generally is to get capacitive somewhere on your build. 
50% skill duration is integral to making sure that your turret lasts longer. In terms of the mods, armor, total armor, explosive resistance, skill power, reload speed, explosive damage, and armor, total armor, and protection from elites. Now onto the holster, it is a Fenris Group AB holster, so I'm giving that 10% assault rifle damage. Attributes, critic chance 9.5%, Ideal scenario, I would like uh, some health on there to make me a little bit more tankier, um, but again, I'll take the critic chance. Skill haste, uh, again, it's only 13%. That could be a lot, lot higher. So, guys, with this build, it's in a good, good place. It really is, and it does kick ass. But I'm sure with a little bit of grinding, a little bit of recalibration, this build will be even stronger. Hard hitting. Now, that is, again, integral to have somewhere on your build. Um, getting that 25% damage to elites is a killer. So you see there's 40% on the mask, 25% on the holster. Again, that's 65% extra damage against yellow bar NPCs. So guys, that's free damage and make sure you have that stacked where you can. The knee pads are again the second piece of Charlotte Industries. Again, it's explosive and shotgun damage. Uh, skill power, you can re-roll that to skill haste if you so desire. Calculated, kills from cover re reduce skill cooldowns by 10%. You need 7 or or more uh, utility stats to have this active. And that's really, really strong it also applies to your skills. When you're in cover, you can get your skills back even quicker. And the offensive mod is weapon damage, shotgun damage and assault rifle damage. The BTSU gloves, which is the crux of the build. Elemental gadgetry. Skills that apply status effects gain plus 50% status effect duration and 50% skill haste. Energy infusion. Whenever you apply status effect, your gloves become infused with that effect for 60 seconds. While infused, you gain 10% skill damage, 10% skill healing and repair, and 10% skill duration for each utility you have. And as you see, I have 10 utility stats, so that's 100% more skill damage and skill duration, which is integral. Applying the same status effect while infused does not refresh the infusion. And charge proxies. Whenever you throw a skill 1.25 seconds after landing, it creates an explosion applying the infused status effect to all enemies within 6 meters. Enemies affected by the status effect can sorry, take more 50% more damage from your skills. Now in terms of the mods. Skill power, burn damage, confused duration. Skill power, burn damage, increased burn duration and armor, explosive resistance, and total armor. And finally, the backpack is an up some armor on a backpack. And this is an old school one. I'm yet to find one which is as good. As you can see, the gear score is 457. I got this as soon as I entered World Tier 5. So this was a long, long time ago. Um, but again, I've, I've been littered with loot. So this is on the to-do list to get a better backpack with higher armor. So with this, I've got skill power, Skill haste, tech support, kills by active skills, and explosives grant 25% skill damage for 10 seconds. That's cool. That's cool because this is active all the time. It's as simple as that. So getting that 25% skill damage will help you deal some crazy damage on your incinerator turret and also your fire starter chem launcher. And 40% explosive damage through destructive. And again, that is just viable on your fire starter skill now the mods skill power burn damage increased shock duration uh, weapon damage assault rifle damage and rifle damage now we'll go on to the weapons my primary weapon is an acr ignited deal plus 30 percent weapon damage to burning enemies after three kills applies burning to the next enemy you hit this is just your go-to this is Champions League, this is the talent you need on this build. For simple reasons, no better talent than this on a fire build. For example, with Seekers in terms of explosives uh, or the Hive Stinger, you go Sadist to get that extra 30% damage. That also applies to your skills. So Ignited is a awesome, awesome talent to have. Allegro for the 10% rate of fire. And this is, again, integral. Let me sorry, just skip past it. Recharged. While equipped, skills deployed at full armor have 25% duration charges and ammo. What we do need is at 25% duration. 
So you will actually get an extra, I believe it's four seconds. Yeah, it's not a shitload of time. But again, that four seconds can deal a little bit more damage to NPCs. Mods are accuracy rounds, critic chance and damage to elites. My secondary is the military G36. Uh, perpetuation, Allegro and Rooted. Um, perpetuation is an option if you can't get ignited for any reason, but you should be able to. Um, but then... Perpetuation is a decent second option, again, just for the extra skill duration per kill. But rooted, that's why I've got this weapon equipped as my holstered uh, weapon, because of this. While equipped and in cover, all skill damage and healing is increased by 25% for 10 seconds. Buff is lost when next in cover and can occur once per 60 seconds. The mods, accuracy rounds, critic chance, damage to elites, the same as the ACR. Now my sidearm is 93R, and again I'm using this for the simple reason is in Riven. While equipped, enemy kills have a 5% chance to refresh active skill cooldowns. Can occur once every 60 seconds. And they are the mods. Optimal range and critic chance. Now we take a look at the skills. My primary skill is the incinerator turret. Now with this I've got a cooldown at 27.5 seconds. This could be higher guys. I dismantle it, it's back in about 13, 14 seconds. But this could be a little bit better if so be, and if you get some improved rolls of skill haste on the build. Now my damage output is 6724, a range of 15 meters. The burn damage is 21962, and that's the number you need to really invest in. Burn duration of nearly 10 seconds, and PvP, yeah, it is what it is, that's all I'm going to say. Now in terms of the mods... What you need to look out for are burn strength mods because they will give you that extra bit of burn damage for sure. So make sure you have these mods in tow. Skill haste and damage. Now, primary weapon is, or sorry, the primary skill is the fire starter chem launcher. There's eight in the mag. The cooldown is 12.8 seconds. A radius of two and a half meters. Damage 192, 275. Burn damage at 12, 279. So when you spec into explosive damage, that will help your overall damage with this particular skill variant. Burn damage 12, 279. Burn duration is 6 seconds. Uh, PvP, this could be useful. 96,137. And the burn damage after that, or the tick, is 6139. Now I've opted for ammo and damage. I feel that's probably the best options to go for on this build. If there is a burn strength on this particular skill variant, I have not seen it yet. If there is, guys, let me know in the comments section. Now, what you would need to be doing with this is you need to proc your BTSU gloves. So, first thing I would do, I would use my fire starter to create the status effect. Once that infused, drop your turret because you're gonna you're gonna get the extra duration from the btsu gloves and it will help you no end it really really will it will get your skill duration to around about 52 seconds then that's what i have on the build it's not the 450 seconds here that is how long that the skill has been dropped but inactive so don't feel that 450 seconds that's how long your turret will burn for it won't as soon as it starts burning that that duration will diminish now if there's no capacitive on the build if there's no recharge on the build, simple as this, your burn or your incinerator toilet will burn for 18 seconds. That's the base. The base burn time is 18 seconds. With recharged, it, you will make it 22 seconds. With capacitive, it will be 32 seconds. With the BTSU gloves propped and again recharged and capacitive, it is 52, 53 seconds. Something to bear in mind. That's what you're looking at in terms of a time frame. But again, you need capacitive for the extra time and BTSU gloves to garner that extra skill duration. Now, with perpetuation, that will help you also. That will increase your burn duration time. And you'll be able to get it over a minute. My concern with that is you are for foregoing ignited for that extra kick-ass damage. And it's not just a little bit of damage. It's a sh silly amount of damage. So, Ignited is go-to, and that is definitely the only way to go on this build. Now we take a look at the stats very briefly. Uh, weapon damage, 18.5k. 14.5% uh, critic chance. 
There is 25% critic damage, 55% headshot damage, 2.2 second reload time, and 31% assault rifle damage. Again, you're not doing much damage with your primary weapon. This is all about the skill damage, but when your NPCs or the enemies are on fire, you are rinsing through them because of the ignited talent. 70% uh, damage to leak, which is good. Guys, this could be higher. Now, if you have the uh, new uh, KSG uh, shotgun, uh, you can get a 10% damage to elites mod to go on this. So your damage to elites could be 75%. But again, it's more of an up close, up front and personal build. That is totally up to you. However you want to run, guys, that is what it is. Explosive damage is 53.5%. Uh, and that is primarily from the 40% destructive, 10% chine light, and 3.5% that's just on the mods and armor 240k uh, health 27 is a little bit squishy in all fairness but an okay amount of armor and we go through again max health explosive resistance pulse resistance that's from the gear set itself sorry specialization and skill haste is 83 percent but this again guys could be higher i just need some higher rolls on this but all in all, the foundation is there. It just needs a bit of oomph to make it even more powerful. Let me just do a quick demonstration here in terms of how strong and how the duration is on this particular turret. I'm just going to get into cover. And let's, let's, let's go. Let's do it. So we look at the TTK. Again, it's uneasy, so don't worry how much it's going to rinse for NPCs. Don't worry about that. Just look how much or how long it will burn for. Now, we have to take into consideration is that recharge is active, capacitive is also active. So we'll see how long that this goes for. Again, it's 32 seconds, but we'll just, for the for the case of the footage, let's, let's take a look. As you can see, about 32 seconds, and that will get you the joy of the turret through capacitive and through recharged, which is decent. Um, I'll show you quickly how it's going to work when the BTSU gloves are propped and how long it will go on for. Again, I'm, I'm always conscious how long the videos last, so I do apologize. But I do want to show you this, guys, just to see, again, how powerful it is and how much extra duration you will get from propping the gloves. Okay, so let's let's do this. State effect, as you can see, it's on three seconds already. Went back to zero, so let's, let's take a look. In terms of the burn, the burn's quite good on this build, and damage to elite, it absolutely bloody rinses them as well. So once you've got tech support proc in for the damage, you've got your 10% skill damage from the specialization, and then you've got your burn damage proc in as well. Damage to elites, uh, yeah, these are, overall he's very, very sexy, and it, it really, really works. So again, with this, I said about 52 seconds. We're about halfway there now. But guys, yeah, obviously let me know what you feel. If, if, do you feel this needs a buff? Because I do. I genuinely do. I mean, it was in a good place as it was, rather than the, the forward-facing cone bullshit, which is highly annoying. Um, but still, it was in a decent position. And now it's been taking a step back, in, in my opinion. But I'd like to know what, what you, you guys think in the comments section. There you go, guys. 52 seconds. That's what we're looking at. 52 seconds, guys. So once you've got recharged, capacitive, and you've got the BTSU gloves procced, and on based on 10 utility stats, you will have 52 seconds of the flame turret kicking ass with a lot of burn damage, especially against the elite enemies. But guys, this is it. This is the build. Let me know if you feel that burn builds are viable in Title Update 6. I do genuinely feel that they are. But again, it depends how you build them. I'm, I'm all about stacking as much damage as possible and having a good duration as well. Uh, but guys, yeah, this build does work and it does have a value in Tidal Update 6 in my opinion. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you want to see more Division 2 content, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.